Hi, in this video, I would like to give few advices to the aspirants of the IIT JM and whatever I am saying here is what I have heard in the interviews of the All India Rank Toppers okay, or who have scored a good rank in IIT JM. So basically, this is not my words. Of course, my words are there, but these are the advices which were common in the toppers of the physics branch, chemistry branch or so on. So let's start. So first thing is you are lucky. See, there are six semesters in BSc physics, okay, two in each year and most of the students get to know about the IIT gem after SAM 4 or even after SAM 5, okay. But if you are watching this video in SAM 1, SAM 2 or SAM 3, you are probably lucky, okay. So you have time which others do not have. At the same time, if you are watching this video in SAM 4, SAM 5 and SAM 6, do not worry. The people who have ranked, who have scored less than 100 in IIT gem, there are many people who got to know after SAM 4 only. Okay, so there is no such thing that you are late. No, no. A any time is the right time to start. Okay, <laughs> unless it is SAM 6 ending. <laughs> Second thing is knowledge is infinite. See, in class 11th and 12th, we used to have chapters. Okay, we used to have chapters and we used to study that chapter and everything ended there. For example, in class 11, 12, there are few chapters of nuclear physics. So for nuclear physics, you have to do just those two chapters and that's it. But in graduation, there are branches. There are branches in physics. There are branches in chemistry. There are branches. For example, in chemistry, there is an analytical chem physical chemistry, full branch. In physics, there is solid state physics, full branch again. So basically, there are branches. And whenever there are branches, knowledge becomes infinite. You study 10 books, still there will be something which is not known to you in the 11th book you follow. So most of the toppers suggest follow one book for one branch. Okay, follow one book for one branch. That is the optimum way. If there are some concepts which are still left, which you have not understood yet, then refer the second book. Otherwise, do not touch the second book. Knowledge is infinite, but time is not infinite. You have got a limited amount of time. So this is the second thing. Third thing is you can easily crack IIT Jam if you have a dedication of an UPSC aspirant. What is common in all the UPSC aspirants is they have a proper planning and proper schedule. Okay, all the UPSC aspirants you see, they have a proper plan like they will read the newspaper at 9 a.m. They will sit for studies 10 to 12, a particular subject. So basically, if you follow even 50% of the schedule of an UPSC aspirant, you can easily score good rank in IIT gen. Okay, so what I have mentioned here by UPSC, I actually mean by saying have a proper planning, which is consistent. Okay, study for few hours but the, on a daily basis okay the next thing is environment see what i have observed is maybe you cannot agree and it would be fine if you do not agree with the statement students in bsc or msc colleges are demotivated what i have observed is student in these colleges are classmates of bsc students are always always demotivated so stay away from them simple trick okay if otherwise you will become like them in the same way for a upsc aspirant to study much to have a proper planning and schedule there is a need of an environment so find that environment at your home create that environment at your home but if you are failing to do that join some library okay because in graduation studying in libraries is a mature decision you must follow you cannot have a you do not have a library near you join a coaching center okay coaching center actually are important okay of course library and coaching center cannot be related but i mean to say environment coaching centers provide a good environment uh, a topper of physics i cannot remember the name right now but she said uh, cracking iit gem is like a vector in a vector there is a magnitude so whatever you study the efforts you make in study are considered to be the magnitude and there is a direction which is provided by the mentors or the coaching centers. Mentors, coaching centers. Wow, nice, <laughs> nice rhythm. Okay, so join coaching if possible. If there is an offline coaching, because offline coaching will provide you the proper environment 
and online coaching will prepare will provide you the proper direction but if you think you yourself are sufficient so there is no need also if you think you are sufficient because in iit gen there are two concepts you can qualify the exams what do you mean by the word qualify suppose out of 123 is the cut off marks and you score 25 so you have qualified the exams but at 25 marks your rank will be nearly say 7000 and in 7000 you cannot do anything with that qualification so basically your rank should be less than 650 less than 800 or so on so for that you have to get good rank so for that you have to be something extra you have to be in the top 1000 you have to be in the top so if you can do on your own it's best otherwise go for the coaching because direction is most important than magnitude it is more important maybe you go in a different direction but your magnitude is high that would be no sense so direction matters have some mentor at least how many hours in a day you should study see this is not the way you should study for iit gen but again humans are always amazed by the numbers psychologically so have some amount of number like 3 hours a day that should be the minimum but there should be no boundaries for the maximum limit okay and books i have created a separate video for the books of iit gem physics you can watch them i can leave in link in the description and uh, one thing to remember is one book is equals to the one branch last thing which i would like to add is uh iit gem paper contains numericals as well as theory okay numericals plus theory but if we talk about bsc physics or bsc as a whole bsc most of the time contains derivations okay and derivations have no value in iit gen okay so derivations are limited till bsc only in iit gen there are always numericals and there is theory whatever theory is is not like that uh, what is the capital of india no theory is always conceptual is also conceptual so for theory also you might need many numerical relationships many numerical formulas so basically your approach in bsc should be numerical based approach and if you have numerical based approach you can solve numericals if your approach is numerical based approach you can understand theory on a greater level and that is what is needed for iit gem i hope this video adds some value to your life don't forget to share in your class groups all the very best for your exams